So in this video, we want to talk about uh, groups in Office 365. Mm, it should be here. So let's go to our groups right here. So these are all the groups that uh, just like in default in your local active directory that have been made like it basically copied uh, taxes presidents and everything from my local directory but i want to talk about the group spe specifically in exchange so let's go open exchange So we went through everything on the other day, I believe. Oh no, we went through mailboxes and everything the other day. Like what they are, how they function and all that. Okay, so I was working with Bill that day. Um, so you can basically add it. <coughs> And we went through all these options the next thing is um, groups so today is about groups uh, this one is a group um, automatically created um, so <clears throat> let's see what are the resources contacts is just your contact list for that user that I selected migration if you want to migrate from one to another I believe the address you can add it's still loading so groups <clears throat> groups is if you want to um, it acts like if, uh, same if you know Active Directory. There is a, there are groups you can send emails, and those groups they have like special rights. S the same concept here. We can add a group. We can create a group, just like this, or we can alternatively click here and do the group. So uh, it's like uh, you can put any name, accounting, um, sales, anything. So we can go with sales or support anything you want to like. There's a support group that's a help desk group or people on the floor that take calls. If it's a call center, it's sales. If uh, that full floor is for inbound sales or outbound sales, depending um, if they are two separate entity, they. Um, they have like uh, different resources available to them and if you want to manage them separately so it's really just a name to tell you what uh, um, that about that group is we can put sales as well they oh no spaces all right so that's the sales group email address it's going to be so whatever you send to that email address will actually be delivered to all the peoples in that group privacy it can be public or private we want it to be public yeah, that's okay owner who is the go owner going to be you can either by default it's giving me the rights i don't know why uh, but you can browse and give anyone the ownership you can give Ali let's go with Ali the first one so now Ali is the go owner of the group basically he's the admin of the group he will be managing everything if something needs to be done description sales department you can say inbound right it's just a description to tell you what it is <coughs> so it's saving um, and it will sh it should show up right here on the charter so charter we can say that it's um, it's like the company-wide uh, um, group where everybody is member by default 
and you see the Ali is the owner we can click this is the settings for the sales ownership there can be more than one I can add actually go add another guy another person the membership they are different than the owner so everybody else can be a member as well right just click add everybody has been added so if you can go ownership still Ali is only the admin or guy the person but every like the users can be uh, the um, members for example you want to remove somebody bill you can remove him just like that delivery management accept messages from all senders so anybody who sends message to this group will be delivered to everybody's email group uh, email address or you can select hey okay this is a special group this should only get the uh, emails from leadership uh, for example anybody who is a supervisor or above or anybody from this um, um, sales department leadership like it's really up to how how they want it to be set up like it's not the they want to set up from sport to send an email and it's, it's getting delivered to everybody and it has nothing to do with sales it's all about the sport so if the company wants to but this this is the uh, things that you need to know or how they work but it's really not you going to um, figure them out basically you will be told what to put there they will devise a policy that they want uh, only emails from uh, sales uh, leadership or anybody can send or anybody who is a member of sales department can send so it's like you go and add who can send all right so reject messages from so if there's an abuser or somebody got um, um, get a hold of this address and start they start spamming or the group is by accidentally uh, the email address is uh, added to another group and they are getting emails from them so if you there's you cannot get the other owner that they, they're off or they're you know they're not there uh, they, they're gonna be on vacation for um, two weeks three weeks so what you can do is you can reject the messages you put that email address here or an address and you can you know you can also search for it so you can eject a uh, message from that particular sender so you need to uh, it's like that group delegates delegation so it's like the leadership or somebody like a manager wants to send an email to everybody but they don't want to get that replies to that email or they want uh, the emails uh, to be particularly for this group only and they want they don't want to show oh, okay it's the manager who send is sending this they want that email to be shown from this group management so you can add the email address here and that person then whenever they send the email it will be from the sales email address so this is the group um, we can go and sales uh, exit out of there and now we can click sales properties where are they if there are any uh, try to click it should be here this one General. Uh, surprisingly oh okay I know what's going on basically I made the Ali owner so we only Ali can on this group I should be the owner me so what I can do is now we already clicked created the we made the early owner so let's go in sign in through Ali's perspective
what's going on? SharePoint, but I don't have the exchange here. It should be like Ali can send in ownership. This is Ali. Okay. Let's get back to over there. Exchange Admin Center. So basically, we have to give Ali the rights to the Exchange uh, Admin. I made him an admin but i was i think that was for something else oh that was for active directory i believe so let's go to users and go to ali and see roles oh he does not let's make him a exchange admin as well so once we do that we can go to Ali this one and let's refresh it for him Maybe he has to log out and then log back in just like an active directory we can try that if that works no then I can show you the uh, properties of charter right there admin now it shows up so you have to log out and log back in he can go to the admin center I believe there's a latency issue so it's a little bit slow we can go come back to this one let's sign him out and keep him signed out and so basically um, Ali is the owner so he can go there later on but I think there's a latency issue it will take some time in the meanwhile I can show you the groups where it is right there and show you the properties of this one but let's create another one this time we can put sport Sport. It is public. I'm the owner. Help this department. We can save it. Again, it's like membership or the owner uh, membership. We can add everybody, including Ali so add everybody like this uh, you have to uh, press shift and uh, use the down arrow key or alternately you can click on all of them like this uh, press uh, control and click um, um, individual or you can press the first one uh, click on the first one pre keep pressing shift and click on the last one everything will be selected and then you add them okay they are the uh, members so you see sport I have the added icon so I can access the um, group properties through this mean now um so there's a distribution list 
that's for the uh, SDN uh, when you want to send uh, make it a Mm, like a newsletter thing like you add people to this group and then whenever you send want to send them a newsletter weekly bi-weekly monthly um, bi-monthly or you know, yearly whatever or on special occasion you can use that so you can use something like um, accounts It's automatically generated all the accounts you can save it so on this group properties that's the normal thing that we just filled up ownership again who are the members you can select all the members or you know addresses so this this is the different part than those one this one is open anyone can join so basically uh, anybody can join by sending an email um, there are groups um, for example at our work there is a special email address uh, that sends you an email every day with a password or a special information that we need every day uniquely to log in it's so we what we do is we send a blank email to that email address and we are in the list and uh, we just start receiving that email every day uh, every day so that would be the open closed closed is the one when even if you request it has to be um, accepted or at Author authorized by the admin um, and owner approval this is the one oh closed is like only an admin can add you even if you send an email it will be rejected owner approval is that uh, when you send it um, somebody will review and either accepts it or rejects it um, back in the day there was used to be Yahoo groups it was a very popular thing people made uh, um, like those um, email um, groups that uh, they will send you a newsletter it was very popular people do it, um, did it for informative purposes uh, people made gardening groups cookings crafts uh, and then the spamming came along and you know it was easy you could add as many people as you want at first then Yahoo made it um, 10 peoples you can add only 10 peoples and these options were all there you could set up how you want your group to be anybody can join or you want to approve it or only you want to if it's like a family thing you want to make sure that you are whatever you whoever you're adding is actually your friend or family so when the spamming started uh, yahoo made it like even if it's a public or big group anybody could join voluntarily they could send an email but if uh, if you are adding somebody uh, they wanted it to be like 10 person a day and all that and then eventually it was i don't know if it's, it's still there or not actually but i learned all these um, options over there so this one um in yahoo you could uh, each email had a link that you could click and leave this one is uh, because it's a company wide and you want to make sure that uh, your employees uh, do get that uh, information that is critical or that is important for day-to-day -day function and you don't want anybody to unsubscribe so that's the uh, closed thing so open is that you if it's like um, if it's like a for the public uh, this um, group is public and if anybody has you have added them they don't want to receive emails from you for example at spectrum some people say hey don't send me any advertising material so we have a system that we can remove their account from the advertising list 
and they don't uh, ever get any kind of advertising from us so this is equivalent to that open people can uns unsubscribe their email as addresses and they will never receive anything from uh, your company the closed one is for um, it will be beneficial if it's employees only and uh, we get the emails uh, every day from our leadership uh, some of it is about tools some of it is about policies and some of it about is um, procedures uh, like the um, uh, time off or um, uh, the center will be closed for Christmas Day. It will be working on New Year's Eve and all that thing. Or shifts, uh, like if you want to change your shift, all that. So this is the closed one. Like your employees, uh, you don't want them to simply fall off the list. And then they don't know what's going on within the company because they are not getting those emails. So you want to keep it closed. Delivery management. So basically delivery management would be something uh, if they have the email address uh, the implementation would be that if they have the domain name of your organization for example if I send uh, uh, if I rip, uh, forward us myself an email from my work and then reply to it um, since this I'm the sender from my personal uh, email address that email will not be, or should not be delivered to everybody because then every, uh, if somebody has that email address, they're gonna start spamming your organization. So you want only somebody that is inside the company has your email address can send uh, emails. Or it's like when somebody receive everybody, uh, um, like they sent out an email about um, a, a tool was down and they wanted some uh, people to tell them if it's working or not and they were trying to fix it so whenever somebody sent an email within the next uh, few days everybody else uh, of us got that email that hey and somebody wrote yeah I'm still having this problem the next day somebody else re replied to that email address that yeah it's still the case it's still not solved so that's how it works so this is sent inside and outside if it's like uh, you have on this list you have everybody from the public side of the people and from within your organization so you can do this message approval so again this was uh, in yahoo as well like uh, what the there was an option like somebody's new for a uh, number of time of period uh, you wanted to see what they are sending you don't want just want them to start spamming and there were incident when people starting sending really obnoxious um, emails they were uh, they were not sold uh, <coughs> so you want to make sure uh, that if it's like um, something professional you want to make sure that uh, the emails you review them hey okay this is a uh, um, in part with your uh, policy and group and all that so you want to pull. and if that's the case and you can select group moderators that will actually uh, like it's not a one person job they're 24 hours 24 7 so you can add a few moderators who can look in those emails and then approve them and then you can add senders for example leadership all of the leadership you can add them here so if the users are sending they, their emails will be stored or queued to be reviewed while the leadership emails with the, they are in here their emails will be right out delivered adjust that how they what is the email address uh, <clears throat> what is the email address of the group and how the what uh, protocol they are using and how the user will see it and how which email address they will be replying because on a group you see a bunch of email addresses everybody that has received it or replied to it or forwarded it depending on what email you received if you are receiving a replied email or you are receiving a forwarded email so there will be like um, back then they were like easy you could get out of 100 or 150 email addresses out of just one uh, chain forwarded or replied email 
so to make it uh, easier this is the email address will be shown in bold so they will know okay this is the main email address mail tip is for the shared mail addresses it's it just display an information uh, about that group or something and again group delegation is uh, whoever you add here uh, their email address will not be shown and it will be shown as from this group accounts that I have made or it will be on behalf so they can send an email on the behalf of this group so it's very easy so this is all about groups um, there's another one I saw another one what oh right here mail enable security group or dynamic distribution list so let's see what's a, a security group is you know um so exactly like in active directory uh, mail enable security group is that it is a group you can assign them different uh, spo uh, uh, services or roles within the office 365 and then mail enable means that uh, that group is also able to receive that email that will be delivered to all the members of that group it's not a distribution list will they just receive emails see let's see what is a dynamic distribution list let's call it So I scroll down and there are some um, things who is the owner I would like to be the owner so I can easily access it and all this so anybody who will receive the email will be also be the member or you can use these options which basically says that a user has to have an exchange email box then they can be the mm, member anybody that has an external email address like public or it's a resource email box like how to re access the resources in the group and mail enable group the security groups and mail contacts with external email addresses anything that they, they they have a contact in this group but they have and their address is not the organization it's an outside or you can add a rule so for add a rule you can click anybody because for example they have to be in the state or province company department or we can do a comp customized one it should be working somewhere here. oh custom one let's add it and see what are the options oh nothing oh basically you just word it and the admin or, or the person who's going to add to this group need to abide by that they need to adhere that and make sure that's the case for example uh, you can say hey this group is only for somebody who is uh, at least a leadership or above supervisor or above manager or above um, you know in the corporate level something like that or HR only these are the for the custom things so this was about the groups um, in detail it's very easy but all that basically what you need to know is how to add them that's it other than that all the policy procedures who needs to be added how this works need to function perform uh, uh, send out emails all that that will be somebody else your manager or supervisor will be doing that and they will actually uh, there will be policy already in place all you have to do is just add remove users that's it all right if this video helps you in any way please form share please subscribe share comment and rate thank you and you have a good day merry christmas